Hey, Mako, who's that guy? A transfer student? Yokohama is within commuting distance, isn't it? Is he someone Miki knows? Yeah, he's... he's something like that. Something... like what? Miki! Huh? Hi, Kinta! I think I'm gonna get a little tennis practice in before morning homeroom. Do you want to join me and work on our strokes? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm already so upset this morning, I could use the change. Good. Come on, let's get going. Sure! What's wrong? Have you started dating Anju? Huh? If you haven't yet, you're going to. You do like her, don't you? You surprised me. I thought you weren't into girls. What's this all about? I know it's none of my business, but something's bothering me. I can't explain it, but I feel so weird ever since I saw the two of you alone together talking on the beach yesterday. It keeps running through my mind. I'm okay with you and Anju together, but I couldn't sleep at all last night just thinking about the two of you. So, did you confess to her? My name is Yukinari Sasaki. I know I look pretty young, but I'm a sophomore at Mizuno High School. I was born on March 31st, so I'm an Aries, type A blood. My main hobby is fishing, no special skills, and yeah, I'm short. But aside from my baby face, I figured I'd look like any other boy down the street, or so I thought. But since I'm so short, girls have bullied me ever since I was little. Well, littler. I'm so happy. Huh? I finally get to meet you. Stop putting the moves on my soulmate! Be gone, evil spirit! Hold on, Lisa. You finally get to meet me? Do you know who I am? No, I've never seen you before. But she called you a pervert. And I've been waiting so long for one. Huh? It's not like we just attacked the Leaf Village for kicks, you know. We were following orders. That's all, just like we're doing on this mission. By the way, you seem a lot dumber than the last time our paths crossed. Huh? You've always repudiated the Uchiha, so fine. I'll help erase the Uchiha from your memories. By crushing all of you and destroying the Leaf itself! The severing of all bonds is the ultimate purification, and that shall lead to Uchiha's true restoration! It's funny though, I don't think that's what my brother would have wanted. Huh? In the last seconds before my brother fell, he called me Josh. That's what he called me when I was little. I'm pretty sure that Ray was at peace when the end finally came for him. Ray gave up his life. I won't let it be for nothing. He was my brother. I'll do whatever I have to. All that I can. I want to protect this world. This world that my brother saved. Marianne, hurry up and end this! They're not fit to be called women! Then I won't hold back! Hey, that girl! Oh no! That's impossible! <gasps> Marianne! <sighs> what is it? This is it! In the name of the kingdom of Bokini, I... Uh, uh, what the... Why can't I move? Your it's bottoms! Your bottoms! Your bottoms! My bottoms? It can't be! Damn it! I can't lose this! She's just a little brat! A business trip? Yes. October is Kanazuki. No gods month. Right. All of us gods go to Izumo. There's a big convention and we stay the whole month. I'd like you to be there. <laughs> so every day, I take the train to Izumo? <laughs> you could. But why not just transfer to a school in Izumo for the month? Huh? Transfer? But my mom and dad would never let me go! Well, this is a very important event. I'd be happy to talk to your parents for you and explain the significance if you'd like. Are you the god of death? Huh? Uh, no way! <laughs> really? But you look so gloomy. God should be cheerful. It's a whole lot more fun than moping, you know what I mean? And it's good for the folks who believe in you. I'm just a middle school student. Okay, but you're here now. So you're a god also. Well, aren't gods allowed to feel lonely and sad? You can. But who are you going to pray to? Gods praying to gods is kind of goofy. Oh. Ah, uh, let the girls get their high scores. At least none of our gang embarrassed us by making it into the top 50, right, Mizuido? 
Take another look. Huh? What? Ichigo is ranked number 23? You cheater! There's no way you could have possibly scored that high! Ichigo's internal battle to control his hollow needs to be finished within one hour. Not counting Hachigan, there's six of us to go before it becomes my turn again. By the time Love began his turn, 60 minutes had already passed. Shouldn't be long now before it's my turn. You no longer control me. I am free now. You may choose not to believe it, but you may no longer keep me from doing anything. I see. But why use your new freedom to hurt others who are innocent? From now on, I will only do as I please. And I will not spare the life of anyone who gets in my way. I know we're supposed to be related, but you remind me more of a friend of mine. Strong-willed, a bit of a loner, and when the time came for him to be part of a team, he resisted. And while he never liked it, he'll tell you he did far more good as a member of that group than he ever could alone. It just took learning how to compromise. The only way those punks could beat us is in their dreams. Not in their dreams, Lightning Lad. In mine. And because I have the power to see the future through them, you should probably take this very seriously. Dream Girl, my favorite Legionnaire. So nice to see you again. Likewise, always a pleasure to be working with you. Excuse me, but you're not Superman. Well, this S doesn't stand for Sal. But call me what you want. You're all coming with me. Now. Maybe it's the first stranger. But just because you yell fetch, don't mean I'm gonna come running. I was told the Legion could help. Maybe I was told wrong. Help with what? Words can't convey the horror I come from. This is something you will need to see for yourself. But no, 44 trillion lives hang in the balance. You're late. I've been waiting a long time for you. Now if you want to proceed, please sign your name there. It's a contract. Don't worry. All it says is that you'll accept full responsibility for your actions. You know, the usual stuff. There are four lit flames. This battle will determine which side gains the true key. Well, have you made your choice? Tell me that you didn't defeat the others without a clear objective. Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? I have been waiting for you. The adversary I asked you to defeat is now standing before you. Yes, I am referring to myself. Yo! You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. That is no way to address a man. Huh? Oh? Oh? Uh, hungry! All warfare is deception. Well, I'm sure you know your classics. Now that you've calmed down, can I ask for that audience you granted? I pledge my life to the service of my lord. It is the ones who have something to protect that will emerge victorious. I am Zhang He. Yes, the same beautiful warrior that everyone is talking about. My heavenly good looks and refined fighting style make a gorgeous combination. I currently serve beneath the nobleman Yuan Shao and assist him in his quest to quell the chaos. Wait here. I am Oichi. Pleased to meet you. Uh, are you all right? Uh, uh, I I apologize. I oh. Oh. 
Got away. No meat for us tonight, Joe Yu. Huh? Joe Yu? Hey, Chuan! Joe Tai! Where have they gone to? You almost sound as though you think I am going to die on you. Don't worry. I will be by your side, my lord. No matter what lies ahead, or what path you choose to take. That much, I can promise. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now listen, it's not like I'm not into chicks, okay? So, fine, whatever. But I can't guarantee this is gonna break the curse! Hey, do you like older women? D don't, don't look at me like that. You're making me blush. Uh, I'm sorry. It's only natural for us Nerits to try and seduce the men of other races. It's in our blood. I messed up good. Some backup I made. Richard. Don't make that face at me. <laughs> We've still got to have hope. Someone will come and rescue us. I, I know it. Biohazard level 4. Contamination detected. Casualties? Over 90% of the research staff have been eliminated. In the primary contamination zone, the survival rate is less than 2%. It's been a while since I was last here. I'm really not mad anymore. What? Well, you're the one who came to see me, right, big sister? So have your injuries healed? I couldn't really help it. Remember that you and your friends were all trying to capture me. Shut the hell up. Just so you know, big sister, I'm not crazy. Hiroki! No, get back! Look at me, this is what the phantoms evolved me into. You see, nothing's changed, has it? But you still look the same, sis. What? <laughs> Someday, everyone will end up just like me. How you doing, big guy? <laughs> Anyone notice he was smiling? Hmm? A symbiont that's been turned isn't supposed to have a human heart anymore. At least that's what I've seen. They don't have emotions, so they can't laugh or cry or even smile. Hiroki was definitely smiling. I don't know, it's like he was feeling sorry for us or something. I wonder what that means. Sorry to bother you about this. Hey, we're all in this together, right? The name's C.S. Warren. Good to meet you. My name is Roddick Ferentz. Please, call me Roddick. Yeah, C.S. works for me, too. We don't have to be formal. Well, uh, Roddick is the name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know they're all pretty obnoxious. Oh no, not at all. They're all such nice people. This is the most fun I've had in a very long time. Oh? Well, that's great then. But the thing is, I think it would be better if I were on my own. Why is that? Didn't you just say you were enjoying yourself? That's why. Huh? If I allow myself into a more comfortable situation, then I'm worried I'll forget about my brother, my parents. And my hatred. Jennifer's publicist says being seen together is good for both of us. Cross-pollination <laughs> of our careers. That's why I'm going with her to Captain Nemesis's party tonight. Sending her golden limo? That's just for show. She's down to earth. Not really the limo type. Definitely not the limo type. Ben! You look wonderful. And these are your friends? What's up, Kevin? Oh, of course you are. Oh, that dress is so cute. So is your helicopter. Well, ready for the party? The Kraho can't follow us up here. Too cold. Sure. 
because it's only 100 degrees in the shade. The Kraho need extreme heat, yet you seem fine without it. I'm only half Kraho. To me, it's just nippy out. And the fusion engine? They needed that to keep warm. And now they have what they need, so problem solved? Exactly. Ben gets it. You're overthinking everything. <laughs> oh, Shabdora! Did you get the thing? Did I get the thing? No, Exoskull! I did not get the thing! <laughs> well, what happened? I float like the mountain breeze over the velvet ropes. I dance through the sensors with a fluid grace. Then, Tennyson turns into a big dog and jumps on me! Having fun yet? You and that slag Kensington ready to beg for mercy? Oh, look at you puffing your chest like you're someone who's important! You better understand that you have no tactic I haven't planned for. You see, you'll never be as smart as me. But there's not one thing you can do that I can't. If Kinsey's device can control a tank, Steg will commit a few more atrocities. It is time for Kilbane and I to have a little chat. Are they getting a bigger cut? Pierce is going to be so jealous. Where are we headed this time? You want me to swing by instead? He will amuse himself by leaving a trail of twisted corpses as he drives. I wish I could throw my arms around you and never let go. Just wait for me to get a little taller, okay? What rapture to have an astute significant other with whom to scrutinize this world's illimitable mysteries. In the name of Regna Ferox, I'll tear the whole world down if you but ask it of me. That's a con's promise. Well, no one comes to mind. Thanks, pal. But you know, there is one person with more heart than me. Oh, more heart, you say? He's clumsy and does crazy things, but he always gives it 110% and takes pride in his work like no one else. He impresses me all the time, and I hope that one day I can be worthy of his trust. Even so, I wouldn't want to be exactly like him. Which hero is it? <laughs> That's a secret. Gotcha! Tiger, you read me? Yeah. You can't use your wire guns. What? The statue's a historic cultural artifact. The government doesn't want it damaged. <laughs> well, tell them too bad. Saving the lives of innocent people comes first. You break it, you buy it. <laughs> Meaning? The statue's a national treasure. You have any idea how much it's worth? Oh, got it. What you said yesterday got me thinking. So I dug through some old boxes and I found a photograph. Photograph? Yes, Barnaby. It was taken the day of the murder. What is going on? I don't know, but ever since I found this picture, I've been really confused about what happened. I still can't make heads or tails of any of this. Don't get too upset, okay? Listen, I'll look into this and give you a call later on. 